There was a point about maybe when I was around eight years old that I knew that I wanted to be a teacher. And I came from a really creative family. My parents were very creative in their field and it kind of helped to guide me in what I wanted to do as an artist. My name is Jacqueline Gold and I am the professor of art here at JP Catholic. One of my early on jobs was working for a company that was a product illustration company and our clients were Disney and Warner Brothers, Lucas Films. And so straight out of the, you know, out of the barrel, I went right into a big demanding job where basically they'd say, we want you to design these toys or children's shoes or things for these feature animated films. And they were always due yesterday. And so your brain clicked constantly and that launched me into, okay, now I know. I wanna go and problem solve and be part of the process. So I just put myself out there and kept putting myself out there. I met some people, they were building a large amusement park in Kobe, Japan, and they hired me to be a model builder for that. You're like in this little world, you're experiencing this little world, and that experience actually took me into my thesis project for my own fine artwork and getting my master's degree later. It's a large painting, it's you know, quite large, of a replicate of a dollhouse from my imagination and it involves a bird that's inside the dollhouse and it's finding its way through the runes. Everything that I ever studied, learned, wanted to explore is all in that painting. So the core illustration classes start with drawing in perspective. So it's a linear perspective class. It's a foundational class basically to help us to create uh, environments and I have a very challenging way of teaching that where they will be working from their imagination. They can have references too, but I really want them from the get-go to explore their imagination. From there, we have drawing on location and I take students out to areas around San Diego and they basically take what they learn from perspective and observational drawing and they explore what it is to look at the landscape and environments around them. Then we go on to observational drawing where we have real still life setups and I have them start to do a little bit of figure work as well, some self portraits and things. And then we have two classes in life drawing. A first class that's a introductory to life drawing, learning proportions and measurements of the figure and then again, seeing the sort of complex figure from real life observation. And then like drawing two is more, a little more advanced in that I teach um, anatomy along with that. Moving forward in the program, the students have the opportunity to be able to take other illustration classes. One of my favorites is costume and fashion. And we hire figure models to come in and pose in costumes and it's, really, really fun. My most favorite class is illustrative storytelling. And that's where I get to teach them like beginning, middle, and ends of stories. And then there's illustration capstone. I allow the students to be able to continue that story if they want to in that class is the capstone. It's beneficial to learn in that order, I think, because essentially it gives me the chance to train from the very early on. The one thing that I know about illustration is that you have to have passion and an imagination. It's a very challenging profession to go into. It takes work and it takes commitment and you really have to put yourself, you know, in a place to be able to say, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Nowadays, which I think is amazing, people are creating content and pushing artwork in ways that we didn't think was possible with technology and the different social media now. I think there's a greater opportunity for illustrators now to be able to be seen. I'd like the students to know that they can trust the process. As a painter, for me, sometimes I get in and I do something and I try to push through it and push through it. And maybe I feel like it's not quite there yet. And then I just really go back to trusting the foundational skills that I learned and the things that I teach my students. And I remind myself, ah, oh, this is what I need to do. And once you know all of the rules and all the things and you have this, it's, I call it my work bag. <laughs> you know? I realize that there is a process and to trust it. As artists, we're called by God. We're, we have these God-given talents that we're called to use, and so we're created by God to create things.